Hello everyone and welcome back to our Adventure A Day quest calendar from Sundial Games 2024's The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Now, uh, before we get into this, I just want to thank you all who watch and enjoy this. And if you're new here, don't forget to like the videos as it really helps our small channel grow and it lets me know that you enjoy this as much as I do. And if you want to know when more of these videos come out, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel. We are trying to get... To 500 subscribers before the end of the year it's super free it's super easy uh, just go ahead and hit that little button down there uh, and if you hate us eventually you can always unsubscribe for free too that's fine but thank you all for joining us uh, also don't forget we do stream D&D &D live every Wednesday and every other Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern this Sunday is one of those um, that is on Twitch Parkless TV on Twitch and uh, come hang out, interact, and yeah, just have a bunch of fun if you like RPGs and TTRPGs as much as I do. Now, yesterday, we went by the bug trainer and we got ourselves a little capitiller. Uh, this dude is, we got a caterpillar, but you got to call him a capitiller. Anyway, uh, he's going to be really cool. So let's see what happens today as we move into Friday. Oops, I'm jumping a little far ahead. There we go. Friday, March 22nd. First off, let's see if there is a backpack. No, but I see a sneaky, sneaky little pickpocket pouch. I don't see a backpack. I don't think there can be both, but I'm always going to look just in case. Now, if you see one and I that I don't see, let me know. But first, we'll go ahead and do the pickpocket. Now, for those who don't know what the pickpocket is, throughout the calendar, there are some days where you can steal from a non-enemy character. Reminders for the pickpocket ability are noted by the icon with the bag and coins. Um, these icons may not always be easy to find as they will be hidden on the page. Keep an eye out for them if you spot the icon. Roll a d4 to gain as much in amber. On a result of 4, you may lose one virtue. You can choose not to receive any amber, so you do not lose the virtue. Uh, so we'll go ahead and roll our d4 right here that's the pyramid looking die and that is two so we'll go ahead and gain two. one two perfect lovely lovely jubbly all right uh when leaving you face a disorderly and agitated scene at the city gate people tried to leave crown spire but the guards refused to allow anyone through due to the potential dangers that lie beyond the city walls Navigate through the chaotic situation and find a way to get past the guards. So we have a one and two, and two has a bunch of options. So the first definitely have to do one, and then we'll choose options A through D. One is optional, create a distraction, D20 plus intellect. Our intellect isn't great. Do we have an intellect party member? We do, a little cricket. All right, we'll go ahead and do it. Cricket may go away, but... So we are after a heart that is greater than four. And we'll cut. That is a four, but not a heart. I believe that is a spade. It's kind of hard to tell, but unfortunately, no go. Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, cricket. Uh, create a distraction. D20 plus intellect. Come on Uva. Using our die. 15 plus intellect minus 1, 14. If the result is 11 or more, your clever distraction successfully diverts the guard's attention. Gain plus 2 bonus on all rolls, all other rolls to pass the guards. Number 2 below. So we gain a plus 2 on everything. On whichever one we choose. Alright, so we're either going to persuade, which we have not persuasive, uh, we can sneak past with stealthy, which we don't have stealthy, and we could demand the guards to let us pass with intimidating. Uh, so we have a good dex, but we don't have stealthy. We have a terrible charisma, and we don't have persuasive, and we have no strength, but we have intimidating. So honestly, stealthy would be our best bet. Um, do do we have a party member with stealthy? Tamer, yeah, okay. So we can try the swashbuckler. If we get a diamond or a heart, then we can get stealthy, and that'll be even better. Um, so 
Here goes nothing. We'll try and get a diamond or a heart to get stealthy. We'll cut. Diamond? Oh, that's a 10. Mm. Oh no, only on face cards. 10s are not face cards. So he lives and we get stealthy. All right, so this is a plus six to our roll. Plus the two bonus is a plus eight. This is going to be nasty. This is going to be nasty. All right, we are going to sneak past. We're going to sneak past. D20. 17. Get destroyed. We didn't need it, but get destroyed. Let's just do the math. 17 plus 2 for the rolls. 19 plus 2 for stealthy is 21 plus 4 to our decks or from our decks is 25. We're gone. If the result is 12 or more, uh, you practically vanish. Yeah, I'd say so. From the guard's sight as you slowly move around without drawing attention. The guards remain oblivious to your departure, and you manage to slip out unnoticed. Oh, man, we could have fought them. Yeah. All right, well, we slip out. Actually, that was one of the easiest ones with 12 or more. The other ones were 13 or 15. So that'll be it for today, Friday. Let's see what happens tomorrow as we start to wrap up this week. Thank you all for joining us once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video on your way out as it'll help our channel tremendously. It's super free for you, and we're just trying to get this out to more people because I didn't know this calendar existed until it was given to me as a Christmas gift by my wonderful wife, and she just randomly saw it. Um, thank you all once again, and until next time, stay safe out there.